What's up guys, Alex from Nothing Box TV here, and I have a question for you. Do you feel like you're getting too old for video games? Not like every single one, but some of them. For example, with me, the new Modern Warfare 22 has gotten me feeling like an elder man. Back when we were all wee lads or lasses, we had all the time in the world for whatever we wanted. And even if your parents were strict about gaming, you probably still had more time back then than you do today. Our only obligation was school and staying alive. So for the most part, as long as your homework was done, you at least had some time to sink countless hours into whatever games you were allowed to play. For example, I'm not so great at platformers now that I'm older, but somehow my childhood self managed to beat Super Mario Advance 4 before I was 10, and Jack 2 when I was 13 I think? And that's like the Jack 2 of Dark Souls. And this video isn't primarily about the problems with Call of Duty, like how I have to verify the files all the time, or like it crashes randomly or uh, just like, it's just not that great of a game. And I guess Modern Warfare 3 is coming out already? Yay? So what exactly am I complaining about? I can't keep up with these esports wannabes or these Adderall-ridden teenagers that don't respect my 40-hour work week and the fact that I have to take care of my wife and newborn son. Just please stop camping or I'm gonna start crying. I swear that I need performance enhancing drugs or something to keep up. Like only when I've had a concerning amount of coffee am I able to do somewhat decent. My wife won't even let me try crack or meth because she's super lame and that cuts into the baby's college or something. Plus Modern Warfare 22's map quality is all over the place. And every time I get that racetrack map, it just makes me want to play Formula 1. Which brings me to say it's not just Kadooty anymore. It's ah! almost every game now. Formula 1? I can't keep up that mental precision for an entire race without flashbacking every mistake. Dirt Rally? Same exact thing, but I don't even get to use flashbacks. Binding of Isaac? Unlucky RNG starts to piss me off. From software games? I just get too turned on. And with any other game I could possibly think of, it all boils down to a skill issue, tiredness, or patience. I think I'm having my midlife gaming crisis, and my wife won't let me buy a sports car for it either. Is this it? Is my channel over? Am I never playing a game ever again? Am I subject to watching HGTV every night to learn about an Etsy seller and her husband who video edits on Fiverr with a budget of $10 million? Of course not, you silly goose. Things are just changing a little bit, and I'm okay with that. For example, that changes when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. Switching Max! Hello there. Originally, I was really upsetty spaghetti that even before my wife and I had a baby, she mostly had the baby, I just helped. I noticed my time getting taken up more and more with work and other responsibilities. I had a hard time letting go of my free time. And you yourself might be feeling the exact same way right now, especially if you're looking at the end of your 20s like me. Disgusting. There's still moments where I get cranky or I need to decompress. But the beauty of life is that it becomes so much more meaningful with more responsibility. Obviously, there needs to be a work-life balance, but with my full-time job and then taking care of the wife and kid after work, definitely gets tiring sometimes. But not once have I thought, man, I wish I could give all this up so I can go back to playing video games and watching TV all day. Both hands online. Just because you might have a full-time job, a spouse, or even some kids or other responsibilities, it doesn't mean you have to give it all up. It just means you have to reprioritize. With family approval, of course. This might sound a little silly, but I've only just now started to work while watching TV, and I wish I had done it sooner because some of the best ideas I've had for this channel are coming from watching MASH. And by the way, if you haven't watched MASH, do it. So now with my personal free time, what I typically do is game or watch TV or work on videos when my wife and son are asleep. Now I absolutely do not recommend this if you're not a night owl because it falls into sleep procrastination territory, which can take a toll on you in the long run. And finally, if you get lucky or work things out with your spouse, you could probably give each other an hour or so to do your own thing so you both get to keep your sanity. So what's the point of this video? The point of this video is that my life has changed in a lot of amazing ways, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be any growing pains. And even if you're not in the same place as I am, that doesn't mean you might not be going through some sort of life-changing experience that's just keeping you from doing the things that you love. So this is just about turning your life's difficulty level from just give me a story to normal. But remember to not make it Dark Souls or you'll be homeless or on crack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different kind of video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Blah, blah, blah. Call to action to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay hashtag blessed.